everyone, I'm Victoria. Today's tutorial, we're gonna go over crescent moon, aka low lunge. I'm gonna give you two different options for getting into this pose. The first one, very upright, lots of hip muscles working, a little more beginner friendly. The second option, a little stretch in the hip flexors, maybe something that you work up towards. Let's get started. <music> So when you're ready, we're going to get started in a forward fold at the top of the mat. So just come on up. A little western there. Bend your knees a lot. Separate your feet so that they're hip width distance apart. Toes pointing straight forward. Okay. So we'll go into option one first. I want you to bend your knees so much that you can plant your hands on the mat. We'll go into the right foot. So keep your right foot where it is. Shift your weight into your right foot and begin to pop your left foot back to the back of the mat. Bam, 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 bam. Maybe a couple of steps, maybe one big step. Once your back knee, your back foot is all the way back there, just check to make sure your front knee is right over your front ankle. Once you got that stacking, lower your back knee. Keep your back toes tucked. And at this point, if you feel any pressure, any pain in your back knee, you can either fold your mat over for extra cushion, or you can slide a blanket or a towel underneath your back knee. So just kind of assess that, and then press your right foot down a lot. Feel your thigh firm up, and then bring your hands to the top of your right thigh. And then once you're there, press your hands down, peel your chest and belly up away from the top of your right thigh. Good, so check it out. Look at your back knee. I want you to press your right foot down a lot so you feel yourself lean back so that your hips and your shoulders are stacked right over your back knee. So you're very upright here, almost like you're leaning against a wall. And in order to keep yourself up, press your right foot down, press the ball of your back foot down, and then feel your outer hips hug towards each other, almost like there's a piece of paper between your inner thighs that you're trying to squeeze together. Your hands can stay at the front of your right thigh. Just feel your shoulder blades kind of hug back behind your back just to open up across your chest. Not your belly though, ribs hug together to keep your belly a little firm here. Take a couple of breaths, just feel the work in the legs. And then when you're ready, hands will come back down to the mat Lift your back knee up, good. And then we'll step to the top of the mat. So maybe a couple of pops, bam, bam, or maybe one big step. Forward fold, bend your knees, maybe bop the hips side to side. All right, so that is option one. We're gonna do option two on the left side. So plant your hands down, bending your knees, weight in the left foot, left toes point forward, and pop, pop, pop or big step, your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Left knee over left ankle, drop your back knee straight down, and this time, press the top of your foot back. So right toes point straight back towards the back of your mat. And so this makes it a little more challenging to balance. Bring your hands on top of your left thigh, and then press your hands down, peel your belly and chest up. So this time, I want you to feel like you're leaning against a wall again, right? So feel your hips stack right over your back knee. And then feel upright even in your spine without changing the length in your spine, just shift your hips forward as you bend into the left knee. And so the spine doesn't change, we're still upright, but now you'll notice my hips are in front of my back knee rather than stacked right on top. So a little bit of forward shifting in the pelvis. Hug your ribs towards each other. So feel your core firm. Then either stay here. You might feel stretch running in the front of the back thigh, maybe the back inner thigh, or maybe sweep your arms forward and up alongside the ears. Oof, starting to work here. Press your left foot down. And I almost want you to feel like there's a big beach ball between your thighs that you're hugging together with your thighs. So without physically moving your legs, feel your front heel and your back knee hug towards each other. Yeah, 
and you might feel some work in the back inner thigh, the back of the front thigh. Good, and you'll take one more breath here. And then bring your hands back down to the mat. Tuck your back toes. Pop your back knee up. Good, and then pop, 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 or big step to the top of your mat, forward fold. And then just give yourself any relief. Bop your hips side to side. Shake your head out, yes, no. Just release any tension. All right, so let me know if that was helpful for you. Comment below if you have any question and I'll get back to you and answer. And stay tuned next week for a new tutorial. <laughs>